guys, let's let's yeah. remember as we talk to these gentlemen that these are human beings. They've made choices. They're not our choices necessarily, but they're our brothers. Yeah. So thank you, Jim. And you were asking. You were asking. Well, I, I think a lot of the community was scoping. disturbed that you know the meeting was held in Waimea when it's really has a lot of impact in North Kohala. So it just it doesn't seem appropriate if it was, because if it was possible to spend a whole year conducting meetings in every township. Then that's that would be great. Wait, we don't have that opportunity. Well, I, I would so, just say, me personally, we, we do have a meeting tomorrow in Gilo. It's basically the same format, and we're hoping to get public input there as well. Their concerns might be just a little bit different. They'll be a lot different because they're not from the community in which you're presenting the right. airport idea. Right. Most of the training that, that is a big deal. Going to be a, a lot more training here. So. Well, I, and I would request just time. with the, the amount of increased activity, we're such a small town, and the, the activity you're talking is like tenfold what's there um, currently. I, 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 have view, I, have, I have eyes on that airport every day. So, I mean, I know that. I would request that you guys come to our community. One, just visit our community. And two, have a, have a public meeting at our community. We can see how we, are, we have to get up and drive up here. And we're just a few of us are up in arms about Not that we're up in arms, but we want to have a voice in saying, and you, you're saying you don't have time to go to every community, but when you're when you're going to be raising the level of activity as much as our airport you're speaking of, I mean we're not we're not a Hilo, we're not a Kona International Airport. I mean that's not what we have in our town. We have so, a landing strip. That yeah, we have a landing strip you. that people I, I, are out there with the dogs on it, and walking around. Yeah. I mean, by a Cessna, I could go out there and have a picnic on the, yeah. the, the runway if I want to, and we nobody do. would ever even know. You know what I mean? That's that's the we, kind we of place have a it is. That takes off and lands on what Tuesdays? Wednesday. Wednesday. Days, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. and he gives, he gives and private then. tours to people that want to pay it, whatever, 150 bucks. And, and that's the extent that, that airport gets used, other than the little maintenance guy down there spraying Roundup. And so, that really is literally it. Right. Where? And, and pipe <laughs> let, me, let me see, that, because what I'm hearing is there's a, there's a heightened concern about an airport being used to have helicopters fly there. Correct. Correct. And, and well, the no, increase no of activity you're talking about. The dramatic change of the recent historical... So let me find out if, in fact, that is the plan. Right. Well, that was what was written in the paper, and that it's been proposed right. for Polo Airport to... Okay. I mean, that's it was written in... in let me see proposal. if I can get more information about why that was included <laughs> in the environmental impact statement. Yes, if not, just take us off the environmental impact statement. If you guys want to come and land because you have an emergency situation or we have an emergency situation, we will welcome you. When you're talking with Colonel Isaacs, is that what he said? Yes. Um, remember? Yes. That's what he's telling me. He's telling me they would only He said that you'd land right. there anyway. There's, there's no sure. real beneficial for that landing strip for the Marine Corps. I mean, you're not going to refuel. You're not going to stage there. I mean, what are you going to do there except take off and land, take off and land? Right. Right. He did say that. Once to me, and I don't know when I can remember it, but it. You know, I mean, everyone in our towns asleep at eight o'clock at night. You yeah. know what I mean? That's that's the kind of sleepy town we have. Yeah, and, There's know, not a business open after eight like, o'clock. I get served just by regular helicopters. Yeah. I'm like, that's dude, stop tour. flying. Yeah. We don't want yeah, these helicopters right. like flying over our valleys. And you know, for me, it's not a discussion about like how much activity. It's just that our community doesn't not want activity like that because that's why we're up there. It's peaceful. So that's why we choose to live there. And every flight, one flight, is an imposition on our peaceful life. We just want quietude and, and there, it's it, a sanctuary for us. And there are also, like we said earlier, cultural impacts that are very big. That the Hawaiian people who are huge, huge in, in this regard would not, will not stand for that. Yeah, right now you, you're hearing from the progressive contingency right now because we read the paper and we network with each other. But when the local Hawaiians find out, find out mouth, this place would be filled. You, you wouldn't even upstairs. Yeah, you're going to fly 200 missions a day over the Heiau. actually came to public meetings and the sexual years consultations in which they. Unfortunately, there was not much public there. Unfortunately, most likely you did not have any input yeah. from these people. Yeah. I'm telling you because yeah. you're there. You're scoping. If this group right here if hasn't heard about it, about it, it. You didn't scope I'm a, I'm a business. I own two businesses 
was in town it. and I live three quarters of a mile I'm from the, the airport. The closest house to that airport, probably, or the second closest house to <laughs> yeah. that airport. And he's I live three the quarters of a mile. We, we got a view on that airport every. I, op I, I literally look out my back door and there's the airport. I see the planes land once or twice, you know. I see it every single day. I know how much that airport gets used. I could count it a month, maybe five times. That a little Cessna would come through there. Went once every two weeks, some Black Hawks will come in. I don't even think they land. They half hover and kind of take out. So, so I mean, that's that's the thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, you guys need to take off and land. I could name a thousand airports that you guys already do that on. There's no benefit to come to our little community. I mean, you guys take off, just circle around uh, County Way Marine Corps Base Hawaii and save some gas. You know what I mean? You're coming here, stop off in Molokai, get your gas, cruise over to PTA, stop there, go back. There's no, there's no sense to come to our little town in the middle of nowhere just to take off and land. My main concern is that uh, growing up over there, I've seen a lot of aircraft coming in and out of Upolu Airport. And when the military comes in, it's like, whoa, yeah, it's they're, not like they're coming. And then we go out and look, and hey, here comes these choppers. And it's it's a ruckus. Like That's a whole other level than a Cessna or a little civilian helicopter. Like They come in and it, it shakes it all up. And if there's going to be a lot of that, it's going to change the whole dynamic and energy of the whole, the whole place. It's going to be like, and we don't want that. Not to mention what Jim mentioned quite a little bit earlier, is there uh, just a throw out into the ocean are the humpback whales, who would be greatly disturbed by this kind of noise and ruckus. As you say, land coming in and landing, it really does affect the wildlife that comes here to give birth. The only place on the planet. There's also a dairy farm right there. No, no, no. The one the last dairy farm on the big island. The last farm was there too, and all of the islands. And so I don't know how that would scare the cows, but I do know that when you scare a cow, there's adrenaline that goes through the system, which goes and can pass through the belly of the vessel. I think that that needs to be studied. And that you need to talk with the doctors. Because all they're looking at is the Dairy farm. Have you that Yeah, we mentioned Yeah, please do. In Boiling, California, um, some people told me that the vibrations from these helicopters, because they're so large, are causing cliff fracture. And there's rocks that are falling off the cliffs um, when, these, when these things go by, low elevation. We have, we've got cliffside in Kohala, like it's all cliff. And in fact, that airport is basically nestled on a cliff. And, it's, and again, have, like, we should really stress to you, which is why you should go up there in the morning, it's not an airport. It is literally one landing strip with a, a building, the corner, like, the corner of this room. And one, like, pay, like not hardly even paid landing strip. It's not an airport. It's an airstrip. It's an airstrip. And it's on a, on a, on a very um, culturally uh, important, sensitive place. There is, like we said before, a Heiau right there. It's the birthplace of Kamehameha. People don't even like, the Hawaiian people don't even like people driving down there, let alone in fact, landing in helicopters. Fact, they, just still, they just like reinforce the whole area with the bridge. And they're like, their message is like, no, no people, no nothing. They're very sacred places here. Hope so. If there's anything that's not that we didn't see in the environmental impact statement, these concerns 
And that's why we're here. Well, we they, want to hear these concerns. We really want the best you to thing know. to do is to document those so that we can address them. So, well, the truth so, is, we don't want it, period. Yeah, we're not, we need to be clear not, about that. It's not a negotiation. It's not negotiable. Like, it won't be negotiable. Yeah, because as there soon as the town finds out about it, there won't be anything that you can well say that.